This Helderberg wine farm setting echoes JJ's roots in the citrus-growing heartland of Kirkwood, near the orange groves of the Chamtuas Valley where Elise grew up. Their families have much in common. Yeah, in 2016 we met, she, like her mom came over to my friend's mom's house and like we had dinner together and just, yeah. just took off from there. After we met, we went for a breakfast and then um, the fact that we could actually like have a nice chat and communicate with each other and we were very relaxed, um, then I knew there was like a lot of potential there. Though JJ's schedule often finds him far from home, the couple make time together. You know, rugby, I think um, we do get a bit of time off to ourselves when everyone else is like busy working and stuff in normal life. But uh, obviously we don't get too many weekends to ourselves. But I mean, me and Elise, we're both very adventurous and we try and make time to do cool stuff and fun stuff. Yeah, so we make it work. More used to the blue of the bulls or stormers, for his wedding, it was black tie. Me and Raven, my best man, we just went to the mall to look at some ideas for suit, you know, to maybe get something made or whatever. And then we ended up trying this thing on and we just both liked it. And he said, oh, listen, you have still three months to the wedding, but if you like it, just buy it. Yes, yeah, so we ended up just buying it and it's just been hanging in the cupboard for three months. Elise majored in psychology and sociology before doing her honors in brand communications. So she can appreciate her fiance on many levels. Firstly was his beautiful eyes, <laughs> his heart and his personality and his character and to me that's extremely attractive and then obviously the outward appearance is also just as beautiful so that I would say was what attracted me most to him when I met him. After their engagement on top of an art museum, Elise went for Heike Lacorda's artistic floral design. So I am super excited about these. I knew right from the start that Elise isn't going to just be your average bride. And then when I asked her if she'd be into doing something really fun for the bridesmaids, of course she was, and so were they. And we just, um, we've done some really beautiful avant-garde um, headpieces for them. With JJ away in France, the bride and her mother searched endlessly for the right venue, only finding it on their last stop. As for the cake, Elise knew it had to be by Wade van der Merwe. The inspiration was modern, contemporary, with a touch of romance. So that's where the black comes in. It's becoming more and more popular. Our older generation will probably have a heart attack when they see that, but the new generation is different, and uh, that's why we come trying to come up with new ideas and new wife wow factors. The soon-to-be Mrs. Engelbrecht had a vision for her flowers. A 30 by 7 meter roof installation. Coordinator and man made it happen. The theme of the wedding was chosen very much in line with the family and the personal style that they uh, represent. It's quite classic and incredibly classy with a slightly contemporary undertone. The white represents sort of purity and a refined, long-lasting flavour that they'll look back at in 10, 20 years time and love. The venue is extremely striking. It's actually one of the first eco-friendly hospitality buildings in South Africa, which makes it quite unique. I know the cuisine that has been chosen to, for today's menu um, was designed and executed by Michael Degg, the executive chef from Cavalli's side. So we're really excited to taste the menu and also experience the wedding with him. The couple's goal was to move away from the rule book and formalities of how weddings are conducted. As Pitti and Quirba Ferreira know, their daughter had found a kindred spirit. Mensen hebben gemengde gevoelens als je daar staan en die muziek begint spelen en die gasten wachten voor jou. En als je afstapt daar, is het niet, is een prankje wat voor je afspeel van hoe ze klein was. Hier stapt een prachtige vrouw langs mij en een gier oor aan een aan een wonderlijke man wat ik weet baie baie goed vaar gaan wees. So ja, ons is baie baie gelukkig af hier. They are absolutely soulmates. They've got um, so much in common. They've got the same values and they are very strong together. JJ and Elise are favorites among the broader family of rugby couples like Sia and Rachel Khaleesi. Oh, I'm just I'm just so excited and so happy for them. But um, yeah, they've got a great future ahead of them. That's yeah, for sure. I think just um, the way he loves them is, is really amazing. You can see it's natural and you know, and it's just beautiful to see 
You know, I think the pictures he takes of her and just how he treats her and everything. And just when they're together and stuff, it's really it's genuine and beautiful and I love it, yeah. JJ I've known since he was 10 years old. You know, I was very good friends with his cousin growing up. We grew up in the same town, next door neighbours. I don't know, you know, they look just extremely happy together. They're very comfortable with each other. They, they're glowing, you know, so it's, it's something really special to see. And I'm just really happy that JJ is extremely happy and you know, loving life. They're both such kind and soft and beautiful people. They love their sense of adventure together has always been very inspiring for everybody around them. That makes them a beautiful couple. I've got a great message for them just to just to spend good quality time together, enjoy each other's company and, and just enjoy the journey together. I think it's incredible and yeah, and just to make the most of it. Designing for Elise with her trim silhouette and tasteful understated elegance was a dream commission for Jason Kick. Yeah, well, knowing Elise for quite a few years, having dressed her from a young girl with her Irish dancing, I've gotten to know her personality and, and I think that's part of the success of being a good designer is understanding the client and their needs and wants and likes. And her first gown for the, the ceremony is a beautiful Cinderella gown. It's cinched in at the waist with a beautiful ball gown skirt long flowing train in a um, stunning uh, Spanish scarlet satin with a beautiful intricately beaded um, bodice in glass beads and crystals and then with a long sweeping cathedral length veil um, to go with it. <laughs> the bride and groom's careers are flourishing. In her return to her farming roots, the new Mrs. Engelbrecht is marketing South African fruit. After three years playing in Japan, JJ is part of a Springbok laden Stormers team along with stars like Dylan Leeds. Together they make such a beautiful couple, you know, I've spent quite a number of nights out or, you know, dinners with them, you know, I had the privilege of being in their company for quite a while, you know, just to see the love and the affection they show towards each other, I think that's what fairy tales and what dreams are sort of made of. To be at this beautiful occasion is really the cherry on top of, of a perfect love story. I think it's been a, a really stunning wedding. Um, going to be hard to top this one day. Yeah, and I think I was telling um, Robert earlier, it's every little girl's dream to have a wedding like tonight. It's been amazing. I really wish them all the best and that they have a whole rugby team full of kids. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just their kindness, the way that they, they interact with each other, the way that they look into each other's eyes. It just shows love. It's so beautiful to witness this beautiful event. As the evidence showed, JJ has learned a thing or two from his wife's years of dancing. She returned to the reception in a number made to party, which sums up the couple's approach to married life. Yeah, I think for me the whole week the build up was like, you, you, it's like something's coming towards you but you're not sure what it is because it's your first time getting married. But I mean, it was just unbelievable, eh? it's so much like, um, happiness and joy going around, so many emotions and you know you just keep on smiling all the time because everyone's so happy and everyone just wants to take photos but yeah we really enjoyed it so far. The highlight really was seeing him today, it was like seeing him uh, at the chapel because we had been apart for a few days so that was something that I really look forward to. Oh, we're actually leaving tomorrow morning at 10, so hopefully we can make our flight. Uh, we're going to Austria, eh? so getting away from the summer, just changing, changing it up a bit, going to be in the snow, maybe get the ski slopes going, and yeah. Here's to a winning year at the Stormers, a World Cup call-up, and the best of the good life.